In this tutorial, we will set the K factor for volumetric flow measurement to 25.07705. Furthermore, we will configure the settings to display the total and flow rate in US gallons per minute. Let's take a look how this works. Hold the program button for 7 seconds. Menu 1 Total appears. You can use the Clear and Select buttons to navigate through the menu. Use Select to go to Menu 11 Unit. Select the Engineering Units for Total. Press PROG to change this setting. Select US GAL. Press PROG to store this setting. Now use SELECT again to go to MENU 12 DECIMALS to select the number of displayed decimals for the total. Press PROG to change this setting. Select three decimals for an accurate reading in the display. Press PROG to store this setting. Use SELECT to go to MENU 13 K FACTOR. Press PROG to change the K FACTOR. Set it to 2507705 Press PROG to store the K-factor. Note that the amount of decimals is not set yet. Press SELECT to go to MENU 14, K-factor decimals. Press PROG to set the K-factor to 5 decimals. Press PROG to store the K-factor decimals. The K-factor and engineering unit for the total are now correctly configured. Next, we are going to set the K-factor and engineering unit for volumetric flow rate measurement. Use CLEAR to navigate to MENU 2, Flow Rate. Press SELECT to go to MENU 21, Unit. Press PROG to change the engineering units for the flow rate to US GAL. Press PROG to store this setting. Use SELECT to go to 22 time. Press PROG to change this setting to time per minute. Press PROG to store this setting. Use SELECT to go to 23 decimals to select the number of displayed decimals for the flow rate. Press PROG to change this setting to select three decimals for an accurate reading in the display. Press PROG to store this setting. Use SELECT to go to MENU 24, K-FACTOR. Press PROG to change the K-FACTOR and set it to 2507705 Press PROG to store the K-factor. Note that the amount of decimals is not set yet. Press SELECT to go to MENU 25, K-FACTOR DECIMALS. Press PROG to set the K-FACTOR to 5 decimals. Press PROG to store this setting. Now the first part is configured, we are going to set a flow rate calculation factor next. Press SELECT to go to MENU 26, CALCULATE. Press PROG to change this setting. The flow rate is calculated by measuring the time between a number of pulses. The more pulses, the more accurate the flow rate will be. 
but also the response time will decrease. We are going to select 10 pulses. Press PROG to store the flow rate calculation to 10 pulses per measuring unit. The last step is to set the cutoff time in seconds. This is the threshold for a minimum flow. When during the cutoff time no pulses are received, the F series will show a zero flow. This prevents the F series to continuously show the last calculated flow rate if there isn't any flow detected. Press SELECT to go to Menu 27, Cutoff. Press PROG to change this setting to a value of 15.0. Press PROG to store this setting. Now all is set, we are going back to Run Mode. Hold PROG for 3 seconds to exit the Setup menu and return to Run Mode. You can see the configured settings in the main display. Congratulations! You have now configured the volumetric flow rate and total on the F-Series. All F-Series have the same intuitive menu structure. When you know one, you know them all. Fluidwell understands. Your success counts.